be a heavy defensive side. We'll have to see how the game the games slowly develop. Shazam in mid spots, shot up coming up top ropes. And now they've got to deal with Nature, who's on the ramp. It really wasn't difficult to deal with them at all. There was players coming in on both sides as well. Shazam has a potential lineup on players coming through from spawn. As JC Stani here's the reload. Can't get there in time with the classics. Mortal is going into this with a full save. Sentinels exactly. should easily close out the remainder of the players for IMT. And they'll get that spike plant as well to guarantee that things are going to be nice and simple for them. Definitely. You have nothing but classics into this round. You want to make sure you have enough firepower going into the next, leaving even Sentinels on a floor. So Immortals needs to survive with a lot of players remaining to get that cash built up. I like the utility currently utilized by Killjoy sitting at the bottom of ropes, trying to make things a little bit more difficult. Nature is staying mobile. We saw... Killjoy playing towards B early on, now playing towards ropes. That's been the success story for a lot of players who play as Killjoy on the map. As I say that, though, Chemicals is taken out. Rez is going to come through very early on, mind you. That's a third round Rez coming out from Sick. So illustrating orb control currently for Sentinels, who for his dupes, down to one. The only player left alive is Nature across the map. Again, we talked about Killjoy being mobile, unfortunately, in this instance. Doesn't really help them out, as they did decide to go back to that B site. The defense just wasn't strong enough. Yeah, you could still count in onto Nature to be able to try to clutch this one here, though. He's on a three versus one. Now that he got spotted by the camera, could be very early that he's going to decide to maybe save his rifle. Unless he gets a kill in the next five seconds, they know exactly where he's at. There's a lot of wall bang going through. He hears an updraft, thinking that maybe Shazam made it up towards that raptor. But you see Shazam through this X-ray. He goes towards that ground, comes back towards the staircase, and is looking to flank. But Chemical's already booked it back and is saving his rifle. This comes into a free upgrade for Shazam towards the B heavens. But it, it was a good early start for Immortals. Chemicals and uh, and their Sage right now, Gangsta, is kind of like a mirror match towards his B main. They have soul orbs, they have the walls, they have paint shells to cover back, and he's able to, to support as well with the cross. The site is the team is already making it out there. They've got full site control at this point, but there's weapons to be scooped up in mid. They're going to try and go for this retake. And the numbers are actually decent for them, given that you've still got Dapper on this very long lurk through mid. Good position though from Sentinels. Already along the line of pillar back site and B main. Dapper is on that lurk again and he manages to capitalize with a kill onto nature. Which means now the defense numbers dwindles down on this retake and it's just perfect positioning now. They didn't expect that Sinatra was going to be on top of that billboard. And now shot up. The only kill that he got chimes in with the second one with the Vandal that he picked up. But that multiple players surviving. I think only one round really was a bad one, and all of those kills came post-plant. Like, after the round was already over, those kills came through. Now, here's an aggressive play we haven't seen from them yet. Immortals wants to take a fight inside B main. There's players waiting around the corner. Good Lear, but they did line up a couple first, and there's the res coming through. So this is one of the few times that we've seen Immortals in a control position in a round with an advantage. Mm -hmm. They're going to be moving back over towards A with the spike, a bulk of the defense is currently on B. It's going to have to be a retake unless Nature can do something about this. And you can see them slowly sneaking their way in, trying to get that spike across. But Dapper's made it all the way across site. And Nature's just playing this one passive the way that he should. Exactly, because they have the lockdown. That's another reason yep. why the, uh, he wants to play this now passive. But unfortunately, Dapper goes for the lurk through the smoke. And that cancels out the lockdown for the attempt of a retake. Shazam on the top of the A ramp. Another to fall. And just like that, in the blink of an eye. It's a three versus three with the spike planet at the default spot. Can this be doable for a retake? Potentially here, because you have ARs coming for the retake for Immortals and Shot Up is already on the top of heaven, dropping to hell. Oh, as Zoms backs up into him, it's just going to be an easier retake. Now as an open site, the last two lurking on ARAM still. Now you force a blade storm out. Shazam trying to come across and he's going to get, oh, actually he gets the headshot to Shot Up. Now as they're trying to defuse, he misses the right click and the defuse will come in favor of the Immortals to put the first point on the scoreboard. Finally, to get it done. Remaining. That's where you needed to see them get off to a great start. This has been anything but. There's the opening pop, but no, the rocket doesn't come out. As he's shot down out of midair by Zick, who is just doing great things here for the squad. Unfortunately, for Sentinels, Sick will be watching for the remainder of the round. Shazam tries to squeeze a bullet out over that wall. Couldn't quite get the timing right. And Gangsta will survive for the time being. Still very good for Immortals. You're looking for an answer on this aggression towards the B Garage. A two versus two didn't work. Passive play for retake on B didn't work. Big flank from Jason Stani, by the way. But now as they push three players, it works out. 
So that's the second round in a row they do it, using two ultimates for two rounds in a row. Now they'll have a little bit less to work with uh, as we move into the next round. But before we get into the next round, we still have a Spike Planet for Sentinels on a one minute advantage, where again, potential where they reset the economy and it starts with Dapper, headshot onto Shot Up, and Sinatra is now running in with that showstopper, looking for his opponent, cannot, stops the lockdown, and that's a good way to pull out a utility, which means now Immortals has even less moving into ne the next round, sorry, with Nature now moving up on the Raptors. Yeah, Sinatra was in a great position in hell there, and that's exactly where he sends nature. Upper bracket. Correct. Sentinels coming in from the lower bracket, so IMT starts 1-0, hence the score at the top, despite this being the first match. I like and this. here's an aggressive play. I like this, too. Yeah, Satchel Charge beat it out. Try to trade with the low rifles that you have with a stack. Aggressive from Immortals down mid. But now it's still a four versus four. They've given up the B site, which means Sick is now able to take advantage of it. Sinatra is there on the other side of the wall, but JC Stoning, the only weapon that was purchased with that stinger, gets the first frag, but he's down at 8 HP. He could put a, a, a smoke story towards B main. That's going to push Sinatra back. They pick up the spike, and they still have a minute to work with. Very well done for Immortals at the beginning. Shazam throws the op away. Favoring the rifle, it's not completely out of play. But wants to have the rifle, given that it's three on three, and also doesn't want to give it up and has plenty of money to buy it again. Mm -hmm. So it's the logic behind just putting that one out of play. There's going to be a heal that comes through. That's actually going to give away his position. There's an audible cue that comes out from that, but it doesn't scare JC Stanley. At least it looked like we were seeing a heal, but he's still sitting low on 8 HP. I thought for a second we got it, but maybe not. They're focusing back on the B side, where they have more numbers eventually versus this push, especially with Sinatra with the Judge. First one of all his gangsta, jumping around for the second kill onto Chemicals, and a big dark cover doesn't allow JC Stanley to get any kills, and the B side is open just like that for Sentinels. It feels like Sentinels have really not met, met much resistance, especially on that B site. Uh, the close rounds we've seen have at least seemed to be catered towards A with some damage that was dealt early in mid. It's a nice well, paranoia coming out from Zoms. Guessing for Sentinels, and they just take advantage of it every single time, and the weaknesses are done from these picks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you really hate to see it. <laughs> Shazam just gets vertical, and nature just didn't stand a chance. Shazam with the updraft and the blade storm. Unfortunate for nature, who was trying his best to play defense on this A site. Shot up, at least able to get some revenge for his fallen comrade. Drops in with Empress active, spots out that player immediately there, shot up, still in position, but Immortals looks like they might close it out here in the first half with a round win they desperately needed. Sinatra is all the way across and through, and we still don't really know what to expect from them on the attacking side. Maybe things will turn around, look a little bit better for them. Dapper continues in the rampage. They try to dive down into the ropes, and it is just <laughs> not good at all. You have the, the satchel charges to try to come in, and that's what they're yeah. doing here, and let's see if they can trade it out. I mean, they're going to be trying to take out Zoms, who's playing on the site. Shot up makes quick work of them. Sick, though, with just a frenzy. Great shooting on that angle hold. Now, the spike will be planted, and it's a four-on-four. Four. It's a great opportunity for them, but Sinatra came in with the nade, flies into the site as well. Sinatra's going on a rampage! And just like that, they're back in the site. Three players survive. The defense that should have been strong. They had time to set up the post plant. Just culture that Immortals have for Sentinels. They are trying different things. But every single time, look at this. The first blood usually comes up in favor of Sentinels. Every single time. It is important to note that when we saw what their options were, either this or Haven, we knew neither one would work out well to kick off the series for Correct. IMT. We ultimately expected Sentinels to take this first map. And I think Immortals maybe expected that a little bit too. This is their perma. They haven't played it once throughout the event. Clearly, they didn't feel great on the map. And it, what we've seen, it's not like they were hiding anything they didn't want somebody else to see because it's not working out so well for them. That said, they do at least have sight control here. It's a three-on-two. The opportunity is there. They managed to get the spike down, but... It's come down to a one-on-one, -on -one and Zombs wow. with the sidearm still able to win it. So despite the numbers advantage, site control as well, Spike going down, still not able to hold against Sentinels, who finds round number 12, just one away from... But it shows how any type of playstyle that they want to play for Sentinels, it works out for them in the long run, too.
I think part of it also is that Dapper is kind of a troll sometimes. So <laughs> I think he's he's no feeling doubt. pretty confident that he's like, I'm going to make this work even with Odin. I'm not scared, worried, or concerned. Zanatra goes to this weapon all the time. More typically when he's playing the role of Sova. There's the ult being utilized as well. The rocket's <laughs> going to come out. It's right behind Chemicals. That's the third on the round for Sinatra. And just like oh that, gosh. Sinatra Defenders. positioned ready for a quick pinch through the port. But we could also see a port back here from IMT. We'll see what ends up happening. There's the push into the site. The camera's going to give away the first position. Dapper's taken down. A shot up. Moves into sight. JC Stanny with the execution as well on to Shazam. There's the portal play with both players coming through. Sick now has to make a move as the hot hands come through. The nade is out as well. Good damage coming down. And we're suddenly oh back in gosh. an advantage here for Sentinels. Just like that, you snap your fingers and they're back on the site. So they got great openings for IMT, but they couldn't control the site. Yet again, their post plants. Those kills went out so fast, so they were ready for immediate trades. This round, quick rush, split from Immortals into this beat side, jumping in the air, trade back and forth, as it's not so bad to start for the Immortals. Standing. Again, Sentinels <laughs> rock solid. Nice shot from... ...are uh, sending a message and to continue to send it right now in the second map. This is the Sentinels we expected to see earlier in the event, but they seem to struggle at times. Here, though, they look buttery smooth. Oh, yeah. As it's IMT who is having a difficult time against them. Now, as I say that, I cast or curse it a bit for the Sentinels fans in chat. Standard. Sick is the lone defender now, getting flashed out, has to be careful. I'm not sure they spotted him inside that smoke. That'll allow him to stay in this position a little while longer. The bullet's pouring through the wall from the Odin. You can guess who's got that one. Sick finally pokes his head out. But the biggest problem, look where the spike is. So far away from the play that they couldn't really make a move. Luckily for them, in the meantime, Gangsta kind of snuck up on this A site, got behind them, and now they've got a player advantage, and they've got that ult to work with as well. So they've got Hunter's Fury to try and make this a little bit easier. They've got to face off against Sick and Sinatra first, though. Yeah, Sinatra, he has two blast packs if he wants to, like, try to jump into the site. For Sick, I'm pretty sure he has a couple of curves, curveball still, sorry, but we have great positioning for Mortals. Looking to double up, there's that curveball from Sick, but the double beak from JC Stani and his teammate from Yu, leaving Sinatra by his lonesome. First contact is coming in from the showers, and that's going to spot Gangsta. Again, still having his ult, so he could fall all the way back towards spawn just to make sure that he guarantees this round. We tap the spike, we're trying to fade it out, but we don't even need it. We have the three. This round is going to come with the run it back to clear out, create some space. Hunter's Fury to be countered by Shazam. Same thing to come to try to take it down. It's going to be Legolas mirrored. But still, nobody getting kills out of that one, but the space has been created. The site is almost taken, and Sinatra is still at the A cubby. Raining damage still for two kills, one make that three into the round. And just like that, just one more to go. After that whole hiatus from the run it back into 100. Not control of Hookah. The chemicals and shot up trying to move in. Now there is going to be one on site. That is Shazam with some support coming in as well. Ult's been popped by JC Stanny. That's from the shadows, allowing him to get into a site. A high nade does some damage as it rains out over the site. Sinatra's dropped by his counterpart on the other side, Chemicals. Shazam just spamming through that smoke, looking to do some damage. But it's actually Dapper who drops the spike planter nature through the bin, making things a little bit more palatable for Sentinels. Chemicals will have to go back in, scoop up the spike, and go for the plant. They're not prepared for Sick, who's already on the flank, coming through from Puka. We've still got Dapper in spawn, but it's a quick shot coming out from JC Stanley to make things easier for them. Sick, still doing great work. <laughs> Popped the ult as he got shot, so it's a one-two punch. But Shazam! Gonna line up two, and some insurance bullets at the end as well, just to make sure reincarnation is not going to be a factor in the round. 6-1 <laughs> for Sentinels. It was looking really good there for IMT after that ult got popped for sick. An elbow, so that's already two utilities or two ultimates being utilized from Immortals to clear out the site. They still have to run it back. Maybe for them to really want to try to guarantee this round, just pop all the ultimates and just try to win that round. Zoms. Actually bested by nature. I thought for sure Same here. Zoms was going to win that 1v1. But now they've got a decent opportunity. Cybercage is going to go down. The tripwire was taken out immediately. Shazam has to be careful as paranoia prevents him from really being able to do much on top of the Cybercage and Dark Cover that were present on top of him. Dapper 
Up in heaven. Right here. Finding a shot on the shot up. Gangsta's in the corner by Cubby. And JC Stanley's got the crossfire. This is a great setup for IMT. They should be able to win this round with the numbers advantage and the positions that they've got. There's the boombox coming through first. That'll give away the position. And yeah, the great position right now. Oh no, the timing. Sinatra looks away at the worst possible second. Likely would have been able to find a pickup there. I like the move though, getting vertical on top of the box. It's a bit risky given the lack of sight control. But look at the positions right now. So many players over on the side of U-Haul. There's going to be a brawl in this direction. It's a back and forth volley of kills. One for one for one. Zahn's now moving in, gets the best of JC Stanley. There's one around the corner, curveball's right inside of his face. That shot up coming out on top of it. It's going to be a 1v1. It's shot up versus Shazam. Shazam is towards the site, has not yet tapped the spike. Shot up's coming around the bend. And shot up does what shot up does best. Be there, showers control the one-two punch of JC Stanley and nature. Very powerful. And here, one of those players gonna kick things off. It's Nature. Dropping Dapper early in the round, who got aggressive on short, trying to force a fight. Mm -hmm. Give them an early advantage. Instead, they're at a disadvantage. The dart's gonna come through, and Nature was hoping that it would bounce around the corner and can continue to sneak up a little bit further. Got spotted by the pulse, has to take it down and delay the play. And on top of that, when Dapper was pushing towards short A, we had three players on showers. Now they mm -hmm. rotate back. The, it was a long rotate again for Sentinels. They have an open sight, but now Sick tries to run through after the Owl Drone came out. But it's still gonna lose. He's still gonna lose that fight versus Chemicals. Now as he central charges, speaking about Chemicals on the top of the green boxes, it's gonna be an easy plant. Pulse plant on a five versus three. Nothing really in terms of ultimates for a retake for Sentinels. They have probably a paranoia in the hands of Zombs that can maybe help them out on this retake. And Sinatra is making his way on a big flank with Shazam. As a Cypher main, I'm always impressed by Ray's main's movement. That, that blast pack utilization from Chemical Scale on top of the double stack in sight. I always uh, marvel at that. It's now down to just one remaining player. It's Shazam. So going for that typical early hookah control with the paranoia through. The nade slows it down and eliminates that threat. We've seen this play well before, and we've seen the counter as well. That paranoia coming through from Portal. Hot Hands does go down to prevent the flank, but now they're sewn in. They're stuck into these positions. They're going to have to fight their way out of it. The nade comes through, but the kills are piling up right now for Sentinels, and they know what that means for them opportunity-wise. The A site is vacant, and you can see the defense currently starting to rotate back around through spawn. They're not going to get there in time. So Sentinels will be able to set up a spike plant here as the Recon Dart will give away the position. They've already got one charging in. It's a head shot dink coming out for nature but the fatality not a problem chemicals has to come in and do the remainder of the dirty work it's a two on three numbers advantage for sentinels still very good with the amount of headshots they're getting with these stingers because after these fights even if they lose it either it's immortals or sentinels the person that they lost against is still low on hp so still very doable for a retake as chemicals is only at 32 hp if they could actually win this from a flank Coming in from Sinatra. Oh, catches him in a reload and was in map number one. But then again, we didn't really get to see the op played too much for IMD as money was a consistent problem. Here's that showers play we've seen from them before, but that's exactly what we were talking about. Oh Dapper just slides out, and that should not happen. You have nope. the op on top of the bin positioned there specifically to prevent that play from being possible. So the the very least you'd hope if your op goes down, you get a trade, but no. Dapper on the duck slide back across, sprays one through the wall, and things are just falling apart here. Six gonna use the ult, run it back, getting him out of showers. Sinatra gets vertical yet again, as we've seen him do time and time again. And now Gangsta is the last player alive and likely would be better off saving, going back to the B site and grabbing the op. That got Sinatra up on top of the double boxes using the blast pack to get a little bit more okay. verticality, but it's a nice pickoff. Nature from distance with the stinger. Able to cash in. Now Six got into backside sight. The rocket actually does manage to land somehow from significant distance post-mortem as well. There's a Hunter's Fury being utilized by the defense. Gangsta sending some shots out from the Sheriff afterwards as well. They've got a player advantage, but they don't really have the firepower. They're going to have to face off against the rifles. Zoms is sneaking onto the site. 30 seconds left. There's one currently in U-Haul, and shot up again with the Stinger. The SMGs have proved to be very good for Immortals when they've needed them. In a pinch, they can go to those weapons and find some success. Shazam says, it's okay. I'll try to find the kills with my <laughs> ult. From distance, those pulses pour out through the walls. 
And that'll be Chemicals, who's now watching from the sidelines. I feel like we've seen so many damage-based ults from Sentinels land yeah. successfully in this second half and in this the, the first half of this map specifically. It's just been something they have way more frequently than the players on IMT. And when IMT has it, they don't seem to be landing nearly as many of those. Now, JC Stanny will find one player coming through the showers, but Zoms is there with immediate trade back. JC Stanny is still on site, trying to do some damage, left. takes down his Omen counterpart, his doppelganger. He's stuck behind default boxes as the spike goes down. Good cover coming in for the team. Spam, not really going to do much there through that box. So Sentinels again can set up a post plant, a position they are very scary in. And you've got this slow play coming through the showers from Dapper. That is so incredibly scary. Now the position was given away by the Neural Theft, so that'll prevent the surprise from being a factor. But they've still got to deal with this player who's in U-Haul. They try to spin back, but they just can't keep. They were in showers control and didn't work out. This time they're switching things up. Let's try to add pressure towards Hookah. They were able to surprise two players there, and they're going to try it again towards that area. So a recon dart, yes, is going to show that there's going to be at least one or two presents for immortals inside showers but now they try to fight back towards hookah where the best agent so far for that you see it it's sinatra boom bot to try to clear it out paint shells being thrown even the satchel charges just to try to keep them back and preventing them from pushing forward into this hookah control for the defenders but again it's a stalemate there's no control yet so it's still a very good win for immortals in the end They've done a decent job at keeping Sentinels out of Hookah early on, mm. but these long-range battles have not gone their direction. Looking back a couple of rounds when Chemical had the AWP on top of boxes inside sight, unable to pick up a kill onto Dabber that should have been theirs. Because of the nature of that last round win, their money isn't fantastic either, so they're down yeah. to three players here as the site's been lost. JC Stanny again trying to do the Lord's work for Immortals, but now it's all fallen onto the last remaining player inside Hookah. The position's given away, but Nature is still fighting for this one. Two quick kills come out from the Cypher main, and there's a 1v1 on site with the flank basically coming for Immortals. Sick just keeps showing us how versatile his play is as now he's gone over to Sova. The guy is just uh, playing every possible role and agent throughout a series. It's truly impressive. There'll be a B-side plant where Immortals is trying to retake, but the damage is being dealt early on by Sentinels. A four on three with the Jet currently low on HP. The heal was utilized on the Sage already, so they won't be able to top off that Jet player. Ooh. And that's now resulted in the death of Dapper and Shazam. Another one coming in for Immortals. Very quickly, that turned around. A great retake from IMT to get back onto this site and kick off this third map with a pistol round win. Or with the Stinger, JC Stenny up top, trying to squeeze bullets on the edge of that dark cover as he can spot the players on the other side. But it's Sinatra to spill blood first. They've got site control. And there's still so many players here. So, yeah, they're on site, but they haven't really fully controlled it. They've just kind of paid in there. There's a nice Leer coming in from Sinatra, who dissipates, disappears, and gets back into safety. It's now down to the last player, Gangsta, around the corner. Well played in the brawl on this. Making me feel like we're able to travel to land, and I'm trying to pick up my <laughs> luggage at the airport. We'll One see day. a push coming through. Yeah, really. Someday soon, hopefully. We'll see a push coming through yet again on the A site, but this time it's actually going to be IMT who strikes first. They managed to slow down the push and pick up a couple of kills in the process. It's still not perfect as it is down to a three on two, and Dapris has got a great angle, but instantaneous. It's for both of these sides to be very aggressive. Shock dart right on the position there of JC Stanny, who still manages to convert on at least one before the trade comes through. Didn't shift positions, held his ground. You got one watching the flank as well, just in case. It hasn't pushed through just yet. Now, I wonder if you're going to see the level of ult discipline for Sentinels here, looking specifically at Hunter's Fury as a way to neutralize lockdown like we saw in the series yesterday between LG and IMT where Moose was holding on to that to prevent that ult from being a factor. The ball comes through, but it's not exactly perfect. They're able to sneak back behind it. The ult is utilized by Chemicals. But the knives not connecting. It's Shazam's op that greets him. Quick shots coming out from Shazam yet again, and a flick back onto the last. That's supposed to be a half buy. So yeah, getting enough so they can buy into the next. The dominance from Sentinels towards that B sign, not giving a chance to get anything done. But we have a change a little bit, a change of pace. We're looking for a quick flank right now, and that's going to be chemicals. As we get a res, they're still focused on the A side.
They're trying to keep things alive and it works out. Chemicals does get the classic kill on that flank, but he doesn't aggress even more. He's assigned to fall back just to try to keep Sentinels guessing as that spike is still holding back. Meanwhile, that gives a chance for Immortals to push out towards Maze. That's two more kills. Now they finally open up to try to take down and manage to take down rather the flanker. They could always rotate back to the B side. <laughs> So apparently you can still get on that rope even though it's inside the wall. That looks a little awkward. <laughs> but the spike will plant over on B. Actually, he's going to find a better position for it. Nature looking crisp with the aim on Dapper. Six able to get around the corner. And taking an advanced position. You can see Gangsta back behind with the Odin, but not going to be a factor as Nature is lights out as Killjoy here on the retake. No need for lockdown. And no need for the Team 4 Immortals if they're able to continue their stride on this map. Because we talked about it, or I mentioned how good Sentinels look, uh, look on the attacker side. They won 10-2. Now there's only three rounds to go. They finally take the upper hand into this round, but it's already 5-4. JC Stani is still alive in the back of the truck, but Sinatra taking control of this A side. Heaven is able to take down JC Stani. Nature holding in the back of the site. Spike has not been planted. It's a 4 versus 2. Alarmbot triggers one out. And he's looking for the... Lurk kills and he connects onto Sig. Still got chemicals trying to come through with an operator as well. Now Sinatra's in a great position, but it's not even necessary at that point. Shazam is on an absolute heater. Throughout the series, Shazam's been on one. Nice shot coming out from chemicals as well. Getting away quickly, trying to dodge incoming damage, and likely to get caught here on the attempted cross. Let's see how, how it pans out for the last round of the first half. Dueling ults coming out, as you, you heard the Hunter's Fury being utilized. I thought I heard a second pop, but it didn't seem like it. I didn't see any damage being dealt, so I don't know if that got canceled earlier or what that Why was. was it? <laughs> Get out of my oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Mistaking. I was mixing up the attacking and defending side. So, excuse me. Chemicals with the ult utilized. It's not going to produce the success that you would want. And again, it's down to one player. You know, you talk about... You talk about Chemical's inability to really be in the right position. It just yeah. feels like the reads have not been there. You know, they have not been able to figure out where Sentinels is going to go to put that player in a position to find the uh, boom bot to get information. It's really in your face, Valorant. And if you have people like shot up, well, as I speak about it now, if he's able to step up, then that's going to be a, pretty much a brawl that could come into the favor of the attackers. But you know what? Sentinel seems to say they have different plans. They're just going to shut me up and say, look, we're going to shut down the B site. Only nature left to go. And Zoms empties his clip to secure that last kill. ADR, 185 ACS. Shot up just has kind of struggled, but so has the rest of the team. So it's not really all that surprising. The wall is going to go down. That allows the orb pickup. That's an ult already available. This is something that we've seen frequently from Sentinels. Great orb control and frequent ults. We saw, I think it was Sick, who had like back-to-back -back almost ults. It was like an yeah. ult, and then like two rounds later, he had the ult again. Uh, and it's just ridiculous that it's happening at that level of frequency. It's down to two players remaining for Immortals. Sinatra has pushed up aggressively, waiting for them to come around the corner. But he go to the ADS on the SMG. He has to worry about Shot Up, who's vertical. There's the heal coming through, but it should be over. He flips Zom's shoulder. You've got Sinatra also using Empress with a way bigger gun. <laughs> That's going to be the Odin having an insane fire rate. And it already produces success. Now a Leer going out as well to allow that thing to really open up. In the Empress duel, Shot Up comes out on top quickly, taken down in the exchange. It's now all up to Chemicals, who at least gets the first one. There's a smoke coming in. Can the spam come through where it needs to? No, not initially. Five HP remaining. Sick there to just mock. are looking so much for five on four. With an ult being sent out. Hunter's Fury. Does it connect? Yes. So there's Dapper going down, another pulse coming out, not where it needs to be, but it's okay. Immortals, they may be staring down the barrel of a 12-4, but they're not giving up yet. They try and make their way out onto B. Zom's there with at least a shutdown onto nature. Throw down the smoke as well. Shazam from up top, point oh. blank range. Shazam finds one more. And now it's all up to JC Stani, trying to get away with the spike in hand, going back to this A site. We'll have time for a plant. But it's going to be a one-on-three. And you've got From the Shadows available as well as Bladestorm. 
So even if he's able to secure this plant, they're going to be there really quickly, hot on his heels, trying to fight him to retake the site. And that's why you say, like, Chemicals is probably telling himself, you got to be kidding me. It's just the way that Sentinels are able to play those, those trades. If somebody were to die from Chemicals at the beginning, he was going to get immediately traded by uh, Shazam. But with that, a three versus one, we'll see if JC Stani could clutch it. In position, there's the dash to fly in. First one will be his, but it's not gonna be enough. Sentinels will take the third map in the series, technically the fourth. It'll be a 3-1 victory for Sentinels here in the finals of the very first closed qualifier for North American VCT.